Today we will demonstrate how to change a relay in a computerized Bailey top loading kiln. This is the relay used in Bailey top loading electric kilns that have computer controllers. It has a 12 volt coil and can be used for both 240 or 208 volt kilns, single or three phase. The two posts on the left side in this picture are the coil side to which the computer board's outputs are connected. The group of posts on the right are where the 240 or 208 volt power lines are connected. Older versions of this relay only had four posts on the right. The current version has two extra posts for a total of six on the right. Only the four outer posts are used with the two extra posts left empty. Either style is fine as long as the relay has a 12 volt coil. Before starting any repair on your kiln, always turn the power off at the breaker. Use a quarter inch socket driver to remove the screws holding the control box closed and open the box. The relays are located toward the bottom of the control box attached to the door. Do not remove any wires from the relays yet. We recommend changing one relay at a time to avoid confusing wires. Use the quarter inch socket driver to remove the two screws that attached the relay to the control box. Gently pull the relay forward so you can see the wire connections clearly. Carefully remove one wire at a time from the old relay and connect it to the corresponding location on the new relay. Needle nose pliers may be helpful to remove the connections from the old relay. Be sure to grasp and pull the connector itself rather than the wire. Slide the connector onto the correct post on the new relay and tug gently to be sure it is snug. If the new connection is too loose, use your pliers to squeeze the connector a little to tighten it on the post. Continue transferring wires one at a time until they are all connected to the new relay. Use the socket driver to attach the new relay to the control box. Close and secure the control box and turn the breaker back on. Test the new relay by programming a full power ramp and start the kiln. All pilot lights should come on. Now you are ready to fire. <laughs> 